Okay, so it's the next day. Yesterday, I put the beam in, this support beam underneath, and I went and bought the lumber for the new wall that will be here. And so right now, I've removed the post and braced up the stairs, and now I'm cutting the new post. This is actually part of the main post that will support the stairs. Right now I have the temporary T here. It's not supporting those last three or four steps. So when this post is removed, these three or four steps are pretty uh, hazardous. Uh, right now I have roughly fit the new stair post here into the stair treads. So I'm just gonna do some fine tuning here and get it to where it fits a little bit better, a little bit tighter. Now we are going to be doing new stair treads basically just over the top of these stair treads. So everything you see will all be hidden by new material at some point. So the gaps that we have here aren't super critical, but I do wanna make them just tighten them up just a little bit. As you can see, I got pretty good in this one. Uh, we've got a gap here and then this, this it's just not quite perfect, or <laughs> I don't want to say it's going to be perfect, but I'd like to get these up, these up here just a little bit tighter. I'm just going to spend a few minutes on this, just making it a little bit better. And then here, I'm going to fill it in here, brace it up underneath the bottom. Okay, so we've got fitment done. The joints are much tighter, uh, nicer looking, so we've got everything fitting pretty well. Um, you can see here, these are some of the cutoffs I did. You can see just some fine tuning. Um, so now that looks nice. Everything is nice and strong. We've got good fitment on every step has support now. Uh, and we are sitting a little bit on the beam and a little bit on the old floor, which is going to give us much more stability to everything. Just makes me feel better. So we're going to be doing some inner sheet work in here with plywood to give us a new look to the stairwell here. Uh, this is nice and fit. So now I'm gonna start working on the lower structure here that will come up and meet this curve here. Okay, I've got this piece cut now. I decided to cut the bottom of uh, the stair stringer off just give me a nice flat surface. Cut the filler piece out and done the arch. I also notched out for a locating pin. I notched out a little bit for that stair and I had to notch out a little bit for this stair. So that gives us a little bit of support. Now we're rigid on the bottom here. It's uh, pretty sturdy, not going anywhere. I'm just going to leave that entire piece in there. My overall thickness is only going to be about 10 centimeters and this is four and a half centimeters. I'm going to go ahead and cut this board. It'll go all the way to the floor. I'm going to notch out so that when it comes up here, it goes up over this. I just need to notch this out just a little bit, probably to about five and a half or six centimeters. And then my board can just slide right in. We'll be well on our way to having this piece as a complete assembly so that I can go ahead and construct the other part. All right, well, I've got the second board cut and um, got it clamped in here, clamped in place. You can see I notched out here. Also carried it over into the other side of the stairwell. So it actually like is a U shape going down over the top. I'll have to fill in this gap here. I just felt like that was just too much trouble to try to cut out of one piece. And so I can just backfill that with a little bit of lumber. No big deal on that. Ultimately, there'll be plywood coming into this piece to create the new wall here. So now the next order of business is to the beam that goes across that cut to link. It's going to be like a U-shaped beam. Right now I'm going to start working on the beam that goes across the top. Yesterday evening, I cut parts for the beam and assembled these two parts. And you can see here this angle that I've got cut. That will sit on top of the stair stringer. Piece that extends on out will go from here over to the wall. Then I have my second piece here that will complete the beam and be what you see on this surface here. The vertical piece here that has the angle will wedge up into the corner there. We'll bolt 
to the cleats that I have on the ceiling. Once that is done, I will cut these to length so that they're actually supporting the beam. It will all be kind of tied together. I'm going to take this post down, install the beam, install the other face, recut these pieces to the width and height that they need to be. Then I can cut my other two pieces for this side and then my post and my beam will be uh, pretty much done. And then I can work on the framing that goes between the two posts and the finished wall material that will be visible from this side of the room. So I'm gonna get started on that now. Okay, so I have the beam installed and I have the first section of post installed and it fits very tight. I had to basically hammer it into place, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. The next one doesn't need to be as tight, but I'm hoping it will be pretty close, but it goes in a little differently. So I'm about to install that one and we'll see how everything lines up. But so far, so good. Everything looks really, really good. block up there and I just use that to square up the post so we're nice and smooth at the top to match all the way down we do have a little bit of lip here I'm gonna have to deal with it's not super important because you'll never see it really but pretty happy with the way it's turned out on the inside we have two different sizes this will make more sense in the future but I have some plywood panels that will come down and that plywood panel will end into this board. So I didn't want to see the edge of the plywood, so this becomes my trim. The same thing is gonna happen here. We're gonna have plywood on the ceiling, so we'll have a thin strip here that this will stop into, and this will stop into. So ultimately, you'll never see the edge of plywood, but this plywood will actually go all the way down to the stairs and then we'll put the stair tread in so the plywood will come down and then we'll put new stair treads in that come into the side of that and hopefully we can get those stair treads nice and clean and perfect so that we're, we don't necessarily need trim where the stair treads touch that vertical piece. Uh, so far everything is looking very very nice. I'm very happy with what has happened so far. So, yeah, 